Voters made their way to the polls on Election Day, and now those results are in. Good morning. I'm Jesse Abrahamson. And I'm Kelsey Marrier. Good morning. Big ticket items, of course, were on the ballots all across our area. Our Darian Letty has been reporting on election coverage for us this week, and she is joining us in studio this morning with kind of a breakdown of what happened in Rochester with the city as well as the school district. So, Darian, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, you two. As we know, we had two questions on the ballot in Rochester. You only had those two things when you looked at your ballot yesterday. First, voters have rejected a Rochester Public Schools tax levy question. The district asked voters for $10.1 million annually for 10 years. If approved, the money would have seen $7 million freed up from the general fund being used for technology as well as an additional $3 million per year to maximize technology use and support the financial plan. More than 50% of voters said no. Without the renewal of the tax levy, Rochester Public Schools will face additional cuts up to $10 million, leading to increased class sizes and cuts to key programs and services beginning in fall of 2024. Just before midnight, Superintendent Kent Bakel sent the district parents a statement responding to the vote saying in part, quote, first, we thank all voters for seeking information and making an informed decision. We are disappointed that we were unable to unify the community behind the needs of our students with regard to the referendum question. RPS board chair Kathy Nathan also shared a statement saying in part, quote, without this increased in revenue, additional cuts will need to be made to maintain a balanced budget. The district has over the last couple of years balanced its budget by cutting $21 million, accessing general fund reserves and using one time money like COVID federal funding. This is not sustainable.